Hello, and welcome to the Castle Burns, where the castle burns as goblins come to attack your fortress. And one notable thing already is... Get rid of the narrator. Just me, myself, and I. And of course, the audience. As we venture into the blaze, let's see what we've got here. Jean Rick Knight is not like all other knights. All the other knights are like him. Starting with a bow and a blade. Or we've got solid slug. Fade into the shadows and then stab some goblins. So we've got kind of a sneaky or a basic fighter. Best to go with basic fighter to show off the basics of the game. Malika, the burner of castles. Destroyer of noobs and overall unpleasant person. That'll work. Our first goblin boss enemy. And we have to start on this difficulty here. Probably an easy difficulty and head into battle. And Look at that map. Wow, okay. And we've got our difficulties here. So the further you get in, the more difficult areas there are, I'm sure. The gate. The enemy is at the gate. You probably want to stop them. And here's just a hint. You can stop them by killing them. Here's a little preview of what you're up against. I can move myself around a little bit. I automatically fight. So it's a little bit of an auto-battler. Understood. But I do have to worry about avoiding them. Get right in that sweet spot area where my sword can hit. And if I'm going the opposite direction of them, I won't hit them. Yeah, I'll be pointing towards them with a sword. But the bow will hit no matter where I'm aiming. I got a fire here. Can't do anything about it, though. Chest off to the left. Carefully, carefully navigate. Not sure what these gold coins will do for me, but I appreciate them. Oh, nonetheless, I thought I could maybe break that thing, but that was just uh, an enemy cursor, and he spawns in there. Okay, we got speedster enemies there. I'm gonna try to just run away from them, let my bow do a lot of the work. And success! And I get a level up. A pocket ballista. Deal 11 damage, 0.6 attacks per second. Okay, this replaces the range, right? Well, that's uh, 2 damage versus 11. That's a pretty big difference. Click on this one, get it for the ranged weapon. Very nice. I like the idea that way I can run away if I need to. Still dish out proper damage. And now for the gold. 51 gold to buy what we can. Not much a fan of armor or health. I'd rather go into damage where possible. Probably an anvil? Yeah. How do I get this? There we go. Got it. Maybe double click. And then we've got copper ring to increase my speed but decrease projectile speed. Don't love the decrease to damage but movement speed will be important, I'm sure. Grab that as well. 7% is pretty high. And then just a flat armor increase. There's no downside to attack speed or anything, so fair enough. Can I reroll this? Oh, I can. Okay, maybe I should have done that rather than buying more. Better pickup is nice. Probably better damage, less armor is a better trade-off, though. I can afford both, I suppose. Let's get them both. I can also afford one more copper ring. Don't mind if I do. All right, let's keep going, though. Let's keep going. Next up, stew and you. Rumor goes you've been eating a little too much stew. Luckily, these little guys have brought forks. All right, don't get stabbed. Easy enough. Makes enough... Oh, okay. What the heck is this weapon? Why is it so huge? <laughs> oh, it has knockback to me, though. Every time I shoot, I get launched, maybe? Oh, man, it is. Yep. That's wild. Oh, well. Huh, I don't know if I love that, but I like the damage quite a lot. Treasure chest up here. Give me that. Oh, that's a lot of gold. Gotta be careful with some of these enemies, though. Yikes. I'll just try to avoid them as much as I can. Ooh, what's this? Plus 5% attack speed. Thank you very much. Probably only within this stage, but I do appreciate it anyway. I think if I don't kill the enemies by the time the wave ends, I probably miss out on some gold, so I should try to get in there a little bit more, maybe. Ah, well, I got some of them anyway. I can upgrade the crossbow. I don't think I want training sword. That seems just worse, right? <laughs> yeah, we'll go for an upgrade to the crossbow. Plus four damage and make it faster. If only I could make it so it wouldn't launch me back. Oh, 40% chance of slightly recoil. That's why it wasn't happening all the time. Fair enough. Level up, we get another option here. Slow but massive pole arm, dealing 5.1 damage. 1.1 attacks per second. That's not necessarily better than what I have. No, that's okay. Reroll this. You know what? I guess maybe this weapon would be better because I'm only aiming at them for so long. Get to ye old shop and find minions life. Minion damage affects your minion's damage. Okay, got it. So if I can get some minions, that might be useful. But I don't have them quite yet. Best not to do that. Plus six luck, though. That seems like a good idea. Get some extra damage, and then just reroll. Speed up or damage up. Has to be one or the other, so probably gonna go with damage this time around. Continue on. Okay, a set of choices now, and I'm assuming I can't go back at all. Guess we'll go right. Enchanted forest. Hopping and skipping your way through a lovely enchanted forest, you smell something. Turns out it's your own guts. It's been forcefully introduced to Gary. There they come, spawning in. Let's get rid of them. So they're kind of a boss character. We gotta really push into them fast. I wonder if it ends when I beat them, though. Maybe beating them early isn't a good idea. You know what? Let's try to beat them quick. See if that's a good idea or a bad one. That way we'll know for future runs. Okay, come on. Gary's down. Give me some gold. Okay, it's fine to beat them early. That's fine. Okay, it's a time limit thing still. Top right there, you see that time limit. Okay. All right, let's get as much gold as we can then. We're gonna fight some of these enemies. Get in close on them. Ooh, give me that box. Plus one shield. Yeah, stay in close because it, it doesn't matter if I lose a little HP. I'm pretty sure it recovers between waves anyway, right? I uh, missed some gold there, but that's okay. That'll be all right. Sigh. Two damage, five per second. Mmm. What about this? 4.1 damage, two per second. 10% of damage dealt stolen as health. So I could really get in close if I got this one, though. I think that's maybe better. There we go. Upgrade our ballista. That'll work. And attack speed and projectile speed up. Yep, attack speed and pickup up, but shield down. That one's probably okay as well, and I get more healing from fairies. Do I reroll this? I think I just continue and hold on to my gold. Yet another battle with Gary. I want to quickly get rid of Gary. I have a stealing health sword, so I'm going to go straight in and just battle. All right, Gary, let's do this. 
Even if you hit me a little bit, it'll be okay, because I can take your health from you. Yes. Yes, Gary doesn't stand a chance. Not when I, <laughs> I run directly into him like this. All right, give me all that. Now we've got extra speed as well, so we can get a lot. Ooh, extra attack speed. Yeah, we're just crushing here. This is as it is meant to be. Oh, okay, I lost a lot of HP there, though. Let's get this uh, treasure chest. Careful with the ballista pushing me back. The recoil is a little bit messy. Yeah, I don't have enough healing to just run into people necessarily, but I can get pretty close. I need like a dash or something. Get across this map a little quicker. Maybe just movement speed, I guess, would be good. Okay, that's a good amount of gold there. 46. I think we're doing all right. Let's see. Pocket Ballista upgrade. Yes, please. And then what's Angel's Wrath? 9% chance of divine intervention. There's a lot of interesting things here, but I've upgraded this so much, I don't think I can get <laughs> anything like this. Oh, but it's, this one's a plus 2. 8.2 versus 23.7, though. I mean, I mean, how do you really hold up against that? You know what I mean? Reroll. Uh, nothing there. Continue. Spare Brain. 5% chance to spawn a zombie. Yes, I definitely want that one. Dodge and pick up. Lose some health. Sure, that's fine. Don't want to reroll this. I don't have much gold. I could lock something in, though, actually. 13.1% damage, minus 3 health. I think I want to get this locked. Maybe get that one next time. You probably shouldn't, is the title there for that. The Bombastic Bunch. Take them out quickly before they turn the castle into rubble. Go for it. Okay, so I can spawn in zombies. That's what I want to have happen here. We got zero zombies, as you can see in the left. So let's see if I can change that. Okay, taking a lot of damage to these little guys. Gotta be careful. I just don't attack fast enough to take care of them too easy. Ah, okay. Okay, we've got a couple zombies on the field. Yes, destroy them all. Help our zombies. Make sure they don't uh, get taken out too easily. Oh, I'm getting launched all over the place because of my <laughs> ballista here. Give me all this gold. Okay, they got rid of all my zombies that quickly. Oh, no. Okay, they're dodging my attacks. Oh, no. Don't do that. There we go. Get some gold, though. I'm getting a lot of gold here. Yes, zombies. Yes. Oh, I missed a treasure chest. Darn. But I got a lot of gold. Probably none of these. Reroll. Bloodthirster up. Plus two damage, plus five percent lifesteal. Very good. I have a choice of damage up and loss of health, but what about this? Five luck, 10% luck modifier, minion damage modifier down. Hurting my minions, but that luck might be really important for gold. I think we need to get that. Spawn zombie chance, yep. Huge damage up, massive attack speed and projectile speed down. I don't know about that. Questionable, questionable. It's expensive too, but let's lock it in. Travel to a two star, more difficult. Let there be fire. Out of all the fantastic things you can do with magic, these wizards choose to make more fire. Unacceptable. I must destroy them all, so we've got wizards coming in. But I have some crazy damaging weapons. Ooh, yeah, it took a lot to kill that guy. We are going to have to get in close and get rid of those wizards before they can launch fire at me. Want to allow for that. Yeah, get him down, get him down. Ooh, okay. Ooh, gotta be careful of these wizards. <laughs> They're putting fire everywhere. Come on. Get him down, get him down. There we go. Give me some zombies to help. We got some treasure chest action going on. Ooh, okay, that's the fire. That's what the fire looks like. All right, projectiles everywhere. Oh, careful, careful. That is dangerous. We just gotta survive, I think, <laughs> at this point. Ooh, run, 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 run. Okay, Ooh. That was a close one, but we got a decent amount of gold there. Yes, Ballista up or Impaler. So I'm guessing that the blue background is going to be even stronger than the green. 55% chance to pierce is really good. I think that might be better. We might want to go for that upgrade, even though I really like increasing this guy's attack. The, the recoil is awful, so no more recoil would be really nice. We can get Champion's Belt. Anything else here that really speaks to me, though? Increased luck health down is nice. I love luck, although I am killing my health quickly. The health down one is fine, though, I think. Let's grab that. Maybe we'll lock Champion's Belt in again, just in case. Extra damage, extra health, less dodge. That's probably fine as well. Keep going. Feeling a lot stronger now. A weak area. Trainer Joe's. Please help yourself to one of our healthy options on your path towards self-actualization. Okay. What is this? Is this an actual battle? No, this is a shop of some kind. Oh, it's like a relic place almost. Increase health, increase pickup range, or increase attack speed. I think attack speed is what's going to matter because that gets me more gold. Being able to pick up the gold easier is not going to be as substantial. The attack speed is going to be huge, I think. And then we get a shop as well for this. Nothing really here that I love, but I want to lock this one in. Ooh, wait, is this even stronger? Let's lock this one as well. Increase damage as you lose health. Increase attack speed, increase damage, lose a lot of armor though. Yeah, both of these look really good, but especially Ring of Rage. I definitely want to keep that locked. Eureka, brave and mighty, our hero soldiered on. Okay, we got lightning mages. With my new rapid fire bow, I don't think we'll stand much of a chance. And sometimes it even pierces, which is really cool. Come on, zombie. Get rid of them, get rid of them. Oh, okay, they're shooting between each other. Oh, lightning everywhere. Yeah, we gotta fight these mages before they build up. Don't let them get too strong. No mages over on the right side. I think on the left side is where I need to be. Not too many mages around in general. They hide from me, I see. Oh, we got a box up here. Give me that. Give me that box, give me the box. Yes, dodge up. Get him down, get him down, get him down. Decent amount of gold there, decent amount of gold. And, ooh, Impaler upgrade. Thank you very much. Can't afford Ring of Rage, but I could get this. The damage up might be useful. 
We'll go for damage up, lock in Ring of Rage. That purple is what I'm really interested in. A stronger item like that'll be great. A first mini boss, perhaps. Flint. Honestly, we all need a Flint in our lives. He brings the spark of joy to life. Also great at roasting naive adventurers. So he's probably going to be a flame mage as well. A little bit of a boss coming in, I'm sure. Okay, Flint. I don't think you stand a chance at all, buddy. I am far too strong. Okay, not taking any hits yet. Not really, anyway. Take it easy, take it easy, Flint. Come on. Can I get you before I get back to the corner? Oh, okay, nope. I gotta run. <laughs> You're almost down. Get him down. Come on. Yes. Get rid of this Ice Mage as well. Ooh, okay. Pick up range up. Thank you. Get that life steal going on my blade. Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, they keep freezing me. Get these mages down. Okay. Couple zombies in. Ooh, nope. One of them down. It's hard to hold on to zombies much. Let's get this chest. All right. That'll do pretty well. Got a decent amount of gold. Not a ton, but okay. We got a weapon. They're already the same color. They're already the same rarity. Reroll that. Volatile fruit. Hard to aim, but explodes for 8.1 damage. Huh. Now, I think I need to go for purple weapons of all kinds. So we just continue on. Reroll this. Nope. Reroll this one. Okay. Not getting anything for me. That's rough. Lock you in. Oh, wait. Are these even stronger? Oh, my God. I need more luck. That's the problem right now. I'm not getting enough gold. Gain attack speed with every melee hit. Orbiting weapon. Oh, they're all so cool, but I can't afford any of them. Goblin Mead might be the most important one. So we're going to lock that in and then reroll because I want to go for luck. I'm now learning that I should have been going for luck way earlier. I didn't realize how important that might have been. Okay, let's let's keep going, though. We'll, we'll hold in a Goblin Mead, get that next time. Let's go up north. Phantoms! I'm not alone. There are ghosts around. Let's get these ghosts down. Or phantoms, I should say. <laughs> oh, they have ranged attacks. Don't love to see that one. Give me all that gold, though. There we go. Gold. There it is. 90 gold. Come on. Over 100. We need 100 and, what, 111 or something like that? This seems like I'm getting a lot of gold this area. 109 should be enough. Okay. I think we'll have enough. Oh, give me this chest. Give me this chest. Yep. Gold, 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 gold. Yeah. Okay. 123. That should be more than enough. Ooh, Phoenix. 33.9 damage. 0.4 attacks per second. 100% chance to breathe fire. I think I need this one. And Goblin Mead it is. There we are. Now my melee speed will be insane. Every time I hit with melee, I'll be shooting faster. I'll be stabbing faster. I do desperately need some luck, though. We're going to lock bootstraps in, which have a ton of luck going on. Reroll once. Anything else that gives luck in here? I guess I'll also lock in this damage modifier thing. Although I think I might be getting into the very end. I don't know if I'll have time, but we have one more fight before the final one. Fire wizards. We've got our weapon. Look at that breathing fire. It's Oh, that's powerful, yeah get close to him and just burn them all. I, maybe I can't actually get the luck because uh, I'm about to fight the final boss. I don't know if, if getting the luck is as important as getting some type of other upgrade. Maybe I shouldn't have locked that in. Ah, oh, well. Need some gold here. Need some gold. Come on. Oh, okay. Getting hit by a lot there. This could be good against the boss, though. A flamethrower weapon like this. Maybe, maybe. Extra armor. Careful. Oh, crap. We are low HP. Run, run, run. I need, I need a fairy. Gotta be a fairy around somewhere. Yes, give me that. Thank you. Yeah. Losing my weapon from before that healed me was uh, maybe a bad call. Oh, I missed out on so much gold. Oh, no. Impaler upgrade. Yeah, probably that one. I feel like I shouldn't have given up my weapon from before. What I need now... What do I need right now? Chances of loot boxes from enemies increased by 10%. I think that one might be good. Keep me alive. Yeah, we'll get loot boxes from enemies. And then I guess luck. Continue on. All right, final battle here. A little bit weaker than I was earlier, I feel, but we'll have to manage it. Just be careful and get a lot of early hits with my, uh, my blade. Come on, get that attack speed going up high. Burn them, burn them, yes. Come on, early attacks. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of damage. Hopefully attack speed is increasing pretty substantially. I can't really tell. Burn them all. Yes, okay. Give me chests and stuff. I need to get some uh, some power-up boxes and stuff. Yeah, plus one shield. That could be useful. All right, we, we are managing, but I need to finish them off before the end of the timer. No, that wasn't success. I didn't kill them. Gosh dang it. All right, well, that is the end of the demo. I really enjoyed what it has to offer so far. If you guys did as well, be sure to leave a like, even a comment to let me know as it helps the channel a great deal, and I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.